Melanie and welcome to Simple Made Pretty. Today I'm sharing three do-it-yourself baby nursery or kids room signs that you can make using Dollar Tree supplies. These cloud and star themed decorations are easy to DIY using affordable items found at the Dollar Tree. My inspiration for these projects started with a POW superhero sign that I found at the Dollar Tree. I immediately thought the sign would make a perfect cloud, and then I started brainstorming ideas. I came across some inspiration at my local Hobby Lobby store. If you've shopped at Hobby Lobby recently and checked out the kids' bedroom decor, you know how expensive Hobby Lobby decorations are and how quickly decorating a child's bedroom can add up. I was able to make all three of these signs for under $10. That's not bad considering one of these signs might cost $24 at Hobby Lobby. All of the supplies used to make these cloud and star themed decorations can be found at Dollar Tree. I did use my Cricut machine to make the decal for the rainbow text, but if you don't have a Cricut or Silhouette machine, you can either skip adding the text or use Dollar Tree alphabet stickers to add your own text similar to the way that I added the text on the twinkle twinkle little star sign. The supplies that you need to make all three projects are listed in the description. So let's get started and I'll show you how easy it is to make this cute Dollar Tree decor. For this first project you'll need two POW signs. You'll need to sand off the glitter as best as possible and then paint with linen chalk paint. Once the paint is dry, I took a piece of cardstock that I made a moon image and I used that moon to create the eyes and the mouth for the face on this cloud. And then I took a ruler and I used the ruler to create eyelashes. And I had five eyelash lines on each eye and they were about an inch apart if you're wondering. And my moon was kind of in the, it's the same size as the stars that I'm using for this project. For the cheeks, I used a little dot that was found on the Dollar Tree Alphabet stickers. And I simply just traced that around. If you don't have these stickers, you could find anything comparable to use. And then once I drew everything with pencil, I just went over top of the image with a Sharpie marker and just kind of filled in the lines um, as best as possible to make a nice thick image. And then for the cheeks, I used a red Sharpie, but I did also go over top of the red with white paint to make it kind of a pinkish color. And then I took that same moon cardstock shape and I traced it around one of these foam hearts that you can find at a Dollar Tree to make a moon. Um, and then I just painted over that moon with white linen chalk paint. And I'm gonna do the same thing with these foam patriotic stars that I found at the Dollar Tree. I simply removed the stem and you wanna be careful so that you don't put a hole in your star. Um, painted them with white chalk paint and then I painted the stars with yellow acrylic paint and then the moon was painted with a gray acrylic paint. Once everything was dry, I arranged them as I wanted and used Dollar Tree twine and my glue gun to attach the stars and the moon to hang underneath of the cloud image. And you can do this um, any way that you want and this is how it looks. For this next project, I use a patriotic star found at the Dollar Tree. I sanded down all of the glitter as best as possible and painted with linen chalk paint. And then I, once that was dry, I painted it with a yellow acry acrylic paint. And you'll also need some alphabet stickers and some foam stickers. Now, I just arranged these on there as best as possible. Didn't stick them down all the way at first because I wanted to make sure they were straight 
and um, there was enough room to fit the phrase twinkle twinkle little star for the foam letters i cut them out each individually before sticking them down down because the foam letters are very sticky and hard to remove if you do stick them down so you'll want to be careful with this part and just kind of carefully arrange the letters as best as possible um, to get your phrase to fit now i use yellow letters for mine um, the foam letters that's come in a packet with different colors like green um, orange and pink and then once that was on i just arranged the rest of the phrase on there and i used the pink for the star and I did think about using a black Sharpie over top of the foam letters. You could do that if you wanted all black text. And then I just finished it off by giving it a distressed look with a little bit of paint over top. And there you have it. You have a cute little sign for less than $2 that says Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. For this next craft, I used a patriotic sign found at the Dollar Tree. I sanded off all of the glitter, and then I just traced around um, the lines that were there with a Sharpie marker because I'm gonna be creating a sort of rainbow image using those same outlines. I painted it with chalk paint, linen chalk paint, and let that dry. And then I marked what colors I wanted to do on the rainbow. And I used a acrylic paint and pastel colors, but you can use any colors that you like. I chose pastel because it went with all the other decorations that I made in these pastel colors. Next, you're gonna use two POW signs found at the Dollar Tree. I sanded off the glitter POW image and painted with linen chalk paint. And then I used my Cricut machine to make uh, a decal for the clouds. If you don't have a Cricut or Silhouette machine, you can use Dollar Tree stickers, same way that I used on the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star image. Um, or you could just skip adding a decal. And the font that I used was called DJ Flirty Font, in case you're wondering. And I'm also using a Dollar Tree clear transfer tape to apply to the clouds. And you'll want to remove the twine from the back using a flathead screwdriver and remove that staple. And then simply just glue down to onto the rainbow using tacky glue. And my tacky glue is holding up very well. You shouldn't need to use anything else to adhere these together. And then I just simply added some twine to the back and some little pieces of chipboard just so my staple gun didn't go through this sign. And also add a little bit of glue to get that twine to hold on. And there you have a cute little rainbow made for less than $3 in Dollar Tree supplies. That's it! I hope you enjoyed watching how to make these adorable cloud and star themed decorations using Dollar Tree supplies. If you make these Dollar Tree DIYs or similar, I would love to see yours. Send me a picture of your creations on Facebook, Instagram, or email me at melanie at simplemadepretty.com and I'll share with my followers. Be sure to visit simplemadepretty.com for more inspiration and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more DIY ideas as soon as I post them. I'd love to hear what you thought of this craft idea in the comments and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for stopping by. La, la, la.